I'm Jordan Rubin, the chef and owner of Mr. Tuna in Portland, Maine, and we're going to show you the bluefin tuna from the boat to the handle. It's tuna season here in Maine. We're out about 14 miles from the headlight in Portland trying to get on the bait fish so we can catch a monster tuna. The sweet nectar of the sea. Bigger hooks, bigger fish. So that's a tuna fish right here, coming off bottom. So when they're coming down, they're looking. Hold on, here we go. Yep, hooked up. Yep, try it. We thought we had one on in the first five minutes, but it was a shark. Another shark. And another shark. Oh. And that's pretty much how the day went. All right. Trophy fish. Catching some. <laughs> that's fishing, I mean, I guess they don't call it catching, right? Um, Coming out here to land on bluefin tuna. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Pretty hard to do. Might be the cameras. <laughs> it might be the cameras, absolutely. Although we struck out on the boat last night, Captain Max caught one this morning. Now we're out here meeting him to unload the fish. This is where it all happens, right here, right on the docks. Boat's coming in, bringing in the tuna. These guys cut it, and then we come pick it up. We buy tuna from all over the world all year round, and the best tuna we get is from right here. Uh, these bluefin are the biggest of the tuna species. They travel up to 6,000 miles down to the Gulf and back, and they decide to spend their summers on the main coast, gorging themselves on mackerel and herring. So the tuna come in, I mean the water this, this time of year and, and moving forward is going to be pretty warm and they fight pretty hard. Uh, you know, t when they land the fish, and they come in sometimes 75 degrees, and it's just way, way too hot. We want to chill them down to about 42 degrees. They're going to cut out much, much nicer. The loins are going to last a lot longer. So that's typical. That's our routine. We will land a fish right through the door. We'll pop it right into a tank. It's about 31 degrees, and they're usually ready to cut the next morning. All right. Let's go cut this bad boy. This is a good sized fish. So this is a 329 pound dressed. So dressed uh, means that the head and the tail is removed. This might be the biggest one I've cut. We are about to do a full breakdown of a local bluefin tuna. We're gonna take off some of the unusable parts first to make it easier to cut. So like we're gonna take off the collar, we're gonna take, take this chunk off, take some of the fins off. And then we're gonna start by taking out loin at a time. So these fish are broken down into four loins. So you got two back loin or top loins, and then you got the two belly loins. The, the belly loin is, is uh, the fattier cut, so that's the toro. The toro is, is uh, this section right here. So um, this is the o toro, the o toro is the fattiest cut. We have some chu toro, that's kind of the medium fatty, fatty cut, and that's closer to the middle. And then we got the lean meat, uh, on the back, on the uh, back loins. That's going in our spicy tuna. That's going in all our sashimis, uh, nigiri. So, tons of applications for that as well. This is the most sought-after piece of the fish. Uh, Otoro, the fattiest cut, is right here, and you can tell by the color and the marbling that's a nice piece of fish. They're looking for color and texture. The quality of fish, you want it to be bright, um, but for fat, you want it to be a lighter color. So uh, the fattier the fish, the meat is gonna be more pink to even almost white at some points because there's so much fat. Uh, 
All right, we are making the spicy aburi toro hand roll. So this one, we're gonna take some of this really nice sliced tuna belly, and we're gonna just brush it with a little bit of our nakiri soy. We're putting the perfect amount of soy sauce on there. And then we're gonna blow torch it just to get melt some of the fats, really bring out some of the flavors in the tuna. We're caramelizing it, we're also tenderizing it. Piece of nori, a bit of sushi rice, right on there. Shiso leaf, traditional herb used in sushi. Charred marinated toro belly. Some marinated shishito peppers. Peppers go great with tuna. And a little bit of scallions. do a just straight toro hand roll. Grab a piece of nori and then we're gonna grab a little piece of rice. Gently spread it right on there. This is some of our toro tartare. This is the fattiest cut of the tuna. We're gonna just dress it a little bit with our homemade nakiri soy sauce. We're gonna throw some pickled daikon radish and a little bit of scallion and then we just twist it up. My favorite part of serving hand rolls off the truck is seeing their face when they take their first bite. I think a lot of times people don't know what a hand roll is or they're surprised when they get it. And uh, after they, they try it, they're hooked.